you gotta do what you gotta do as a mom sometimes it is what it is it's hot and i'm not about to be sweating like a whore in church y'all know this i got my coffee hope y'all got y'all's coffee i hope y'all have a great day don't let nobody stress you especially these jobs that don't want to pay you more money what's poppin my pretties it's your girl kagan welcome or welcome back to another vloggy vlog today is monday and both kids is going to school today so excited now if you haven't seen my school vlog or first day of school vlog or whatever i'm naming it probably be the vlog before this vlog we done had some issues with this school so i'm currently in front of the school right now because i'm taking our money in to the school go ahead and watch that vlog so you can see what i didn't have to deal with but i was not about to drop my child off today he don't even have a school schedule I didn't even know until right now what time they even could get dropped off at school. She said 8.55. It's 8.50 right now. I don't even know what class is he in. I don't know. We don't know anything. So I'm walking him into school. Gianni's already at school. He has not been doing great with going to school. He has cried the past two days. This is day three for him. First day he was hyped. Past two days he has cried. And I just pushed him out the car and let him go because Gianni's very attached to me. And... I'm like, you just gotta go to school, babe. It's just part of it. Today will be the first day that I'm at home completely by myself with no children. And we're gonna see how this goes. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be, you know, okay. Yeah, we're gonna go in this school and see what's up. Middle schoolers look older than me nowadays. <sighs> so I prayed all night, y'all, cause you know, I had a little anxiety about it. I prayed all night, but God got him. Not worried about anything. After this, I have to go to work. I did take the first half of the morning off because I wanted to make sure that Armani was comfortable and straight. I don't know if this is going to be like a weekly vlog or weekend vlog. I'm really not doing anything until towards the weekend, but I did wanted to update y'all on what what's going on right now. Oh so yeah, when I get home, I'm going to make my smoothie and start working. They have me doing something new at work and I honestly don't like doing it. It gives me a little anxiety. I'm one of them people that once I get into a routine, I like to stay in my routine and then when they throw something else on me, I have to get used to that <laughs> before I can, you know, decipher if I like it or not. But I'm not able to get my other work done. So I'm thinking about talking to my manager like, girl, I can't do my other work because I got to do this so yeah we're gonna see what's going on and i'm a very verbal person at work if something ain't going right i'm not gonna do it i can log on to my team's chat through my phone so i can already see what everybody at work is talking about so yeah we're about to go in here right quick it's 8 53 i guess we might wait a little while so when i get out i'll let y'all know what i thought of the school i really haven't even seen the school or nothing like that i'm back home <sighs> i'm just praying that armani gets through school and it actually will be okay i'm over here like stressing out like my head hurts because i'm just so stressed out if it ain't one kid crying, it's one kid that's going to the school that I don't like. It's just hard being a mom. <laughs> Sometimes I'm, I just keep telling myself, like, we are here until December. It is now August. It is fine. Everything is going to work out. Like, my eye is hurting because I feel like I'm... <sighs> I'm just trying to breathe. Anyways, I'm back at work. I know that work is probably going to stress me out because they have me doing something new and I feel like I can't do my regular job as well as like they added extra and that's one thing I don't like about job or, or working for somebody is when they start adding extra to your job but they're not trying to give you extra money somebody was yelling outside but yeah they don't be trying to give you extra money they want you to do extra work but no extra pay and I'm gonna try it today and see how it goes but I'm this close to telling my manager listen I don't feel like I can get my other work done and one thing about me y'all ain't paying me extra to do this so I have no issue telling somebody that something is overwhelming me because I do not let things stress me out and I will stop things from stressing me especially if it messes with my mental health I'm all about mental health I told y'all that y'all know this so um getting through my messages right now and my emails and then i'm gonna work on the new stuff that i'm supposed to be working on and it's 
10 o'clock now. I have to pick up Gianni at 3.15 and Armani at 4. I take my lunch break when I go pick them up from school. Tonight for dinner, we're just going to do some spaghetti, something easy. Y'all, I made me some cod last night. C-O-D, I know I'm country. Cod, like codfish. <laughs> I made me some cod last night and it was so good. I made crusted cod and I'm gonna have it for lunch today. I made it cod with like a little side salad. But that's what I'm gonna make myself today. I don't really know what I have planned this week. Like with these vlogs, I just take it day by day, day by day, whatever I do, I just do. Cause I think when I first started vlogging, I, think I thought I had to actually go out and do stuff all the time. But I watch a lot of YouTubers who vlog in the house and do nothing and just talk so that's what I'm doing <laughs> vlogging and talking but today's gonna be a good day I'm gonna already claim it I'm not gonna let anybody stress me out I felt like a mood coming on when I feel like a mood coming on I try not to talk to nobody I feel overwhelmed I feel like I'm gonna have a panic attack so I'm gonna turn on something that soothes me probably my Christian music TD Jakes something and just try to work and vibe out I might check up with y'all and let y'all know how I feel later. We're going to get through this day. I ain't even tell nobody good morning on work today. <laughs> That's how I know I ain't with it. So I just wanted to give y'all a little update or just like some advice of something that I've learned from my departure from YouTube that has helped me in everyday life. And I just use this at work in my life i felt very overwhelmed or very overstimulated from like being everybody's person everybody's go-to person when they're going through stuff or everybody like just needing me for certain things so i developed this like overwhelming feeling so now when i feel overwhelmed i just disconnect i no longer on social media like i said I put my phone on do not disturb sometimes people text me and if I don't feel like texting in that moment I will not text them back until I feel like I'm ready I have this rule if it's 8 30 and you're not my immediate family they're in my top five favorites I will text you tomorrow because I don't feel like starting a conversation sometimes that's just me and that is just a way to help with my mental health now I told y'all that I was feeling very overwhelmed today today's Monday Armani started a new school and also I have this new project going on at work so I just was verbal with my managers about how I felt about this job and they told me that it was totally fine and they totally understood and I told them that I just don't like to be thrown into something and feel like I'm forced to do something and they're like you're not forced to do this you're a good worker that's why we gave this to you we know that you can do it but you we don't want you to feel overwhelmed with doing it so you can just work on this project and you don't have to work on your other work for right now so that made me feel very comfortable and my managers I have two managers they actually told me that they are so happy that I came to them and told them that or expressed to them how I felt and they said that they wish that all their workers would express to them how they felt when it came to certain things and that's one thing I'm learning in my life to express to people how I feel because it doesn't have to be like hostile the way you feel or when you're talking it doesn't have to be hostile every disagreement is not an argument I live by that me and my husband live by that I think that's why my marriage works so good because we can disagree about something they cutting grass out there <laughs> But we can disagree about something, but we're not going to argue about it. I can see his point of view, and he can see my point of view, and then we can both understand things or understand where each other's coming from. We don't have to agree, but we can try to understand where, where each other's coming from. And same thing goes with work. That is my little tidbit for today don't let people overwhelm you speak up if you feel some type of way about something it's okay to express yourself and i think i learned that because i <laughs> went through a midlife crisis and a mental breakdown one time because i just felt so overwhelmed and overstimulated <sighs> good morning y'all it is wednesday i don't think i've vlogged since monday nothing's really been going on except for the fact that yeah, I've been going through it. I'm so overstimulated between work and trying to get a new schedule.
together with these kids. It's not even the new schedule because that has to happen. It's work. It's the new work that they gave me at work. And I, like I told you, I told my managers, I cannot do this. Like, this is just too much. Too much. And I don't care that I say that. I won't have to do it soon. Hopefully. I think max is two weeks. But by the time I get off, I'm like a zombie. I'm like this. I can't think or anything like yesterday I forgot to take food out of the deep freezer to cook and I picked the kids up from school and I came back and I was sitting here it's like 5 15 and my husband's like do you want me to like start cooking something and I was like what and I looked down at the time and I was like I don't know <laughs> that's all I could say all I could say is I don't know because I really did not know my mind I'm foggy brained but we gonna get through it. Anyways, I cannot wait for the weekend. I'm so glad we are actually doing something this weekend. I'm so happy we're getting the heck up out of Georgia. And we're out of here. My husband took Gianni to school this morning. He did not cry yesterday when he went to school. I told him he couldn't play Roblox if he cried when he got out of the car. <laughs> The, kid, the things these kids will do to play Roblox. I said, well, you're not going to be able to play Roblox for a little bit when you get home if you cry when you get out of this car. He ain't crying because something's wrong with him. He's crying because he wants to stay at home with me. He's used to having a stay-at-home mom and being up under me. Y'all, he would literally sit under my desk and play with his toys and all that. We've been trying to work on my schedule to see what works for me. A new thing that has been working is well let me just back up so my husband can't take Armani to school and we first originally thought that I would take Gianni to school and then my husband would drop off Armani when he's on his way to work my husband has to be to work a little bit earlier so now he I guess is going to take Gianni and then I'm going to take Armani Armani can't be dropped off to school till 8 55. I was starting work at 8 30 to 5 30. well now I'm clocking in at 8. I am taking my 15 minute break early. So I clock in at 8. I'll leave here at 8.45 on my 15 minute break. Take our money to school, drop him off and come back. Like I timed it yesterday. I got back here at 14 minutes and 39 seconds. Like right at the nitty gritty. And granted there wasn't any traffic or anything. And we stay like 10 minutes from the school so i'm not about to rush that's one thing i have been working on my life is rushing and i had stopped rushing i just have to be some a little a couple minutes over i'm not rushing like it is what it is i am trying my best to do what i gotta do i'm like this close to thinking about going part-time just for my own sanity if i was to work part-time I'd work probably from 8. Heck, I might even come in a little earlier. That's what I was thinking. If I can come in at like 7.30. Well, and you know, no, I'm not even going to say come in early. I'm going to just stick to, you know, the time I've been doing. If I, I just might have to just work from like 8.30 until the time I go and get the kids from school. So what, that'd be 8.30 to about 2.40. It'd be to the end of the year. You gotta do what you gotta do as a mom sometimes. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm about to clock in, work for 20 minutes. Probably just check emails, cause I know I got a bunch of emails, y'all. <laughs> okay, I only got 25 emails this morning, but I know since I've been doing this other work, I haven't been able to answer some of the other emails and messages from my other contractors. I've been ignoring them, but not purposely because I'm trying to do this other work. That's what I'm gonna do. I might not see y'all till the weekend, if so. You know it is what it is but i got my coffee hope y'all got y'all's coffee i hope y'all have a great day don't let nobody stress you especially these jobs that don't want to pay you more money cheers y'all i really have to step away and take a break from my computer for a second before i lose my mind but anyways i wanted to show y'all my new luggage that i got yesterday at ross i have to get luggage for the trip Ooh. so yeah it's 
smaller than my other one. I told myself I did not want a big bulky luggage because I will pack that thing out. And I'm trying to pack light. I put all my stuff in there. The only thing is, is that I haven't got my sheet in order in yet. And when I get it in, I'm going to pack everything. We're going to do like a chit chat and pack with me. Some kind of something. Because I am not going to do a maintenance vlog a vacation maintenance vlog i hate doing those <laughs> honestly i really do i know i've been talking most of this vlog because i really haven't been doing anything not yet it's, the, it's not the weekend yet like i don't do anything on the weekdays everything's the weekend that's why y'all been getting weekend vlog it's 2 21 i'm about to leave in like 25 minutes to go get the children from school i've been sitting here working working's been you know it's been a little bit better i was sitting here watching this girl's youtube channel she's a military wife and she just popped up on my algorithm or whatever this morning i had a conversation with one of my friends from columbus and she's a military wife and she was like just venting to me about just some stuff she's going through as a military wife and i i told her i was like girl i went through the same stuff this week like being a military wife is not for the week like take motherhood and then put military wife with it it's crazy like it's a, it's a wild life <laughs> I never knew military wives go through some of the things they go through. And it's like, take me for example, I strive off of schedules and knowing what's next. Before I got married, I always had a schedule. I always knew what was next. I probably have scheduled my life for like a year. I mean, knowing that like, say for example, let me give you an example. Like, okay, I'm going to work from eight to five. After that, I pick up the kids. And then when I come home, I cook and then I go to online schooling like I did online schooling with the military. Mm -mm. They always throw something at you to, that will alter your schedule like or just your life in general. Like you have to uproot your life all the time. And it can be very overwhelming like for instance that's why I felt or my anxiety has been on 10 this whole week because like I said the original plan was that my husband was going to take at least Armani to school for me and he was like oh I can't take him Armani goes to school like later if it wasn't for my job letting me like alter my schedule I wouldn't been able to work because how many jobs are really going to let you alter your schedule none of them none at all they're not going to let you alter your schedule I'm very blessed most military wives do not have jobs because we have to work around our husband's schedule like your husband's job comes first i am blessed that i have a husband that's in the military that's not a butthead that understands that i need help with the kids and that if he can he will make a way to try to help me because he knows i get overwhelmed and stressed out and freaks out but lord behold there are some military wives that do not have the husbands that understand that and i feel so bad for them because it's stressful and then on top of that you don't have your family around so like imagine like those of you who have your family around to help you with your kids like say your mom or your dad or your cousin or anybody picks up your child for you so you can go to work imagine not having that help because i went from like having all the help in the world like my dad used to drop off our money to, and i used to take gianni when i lived back home and i used to go to the gym before i went to work the medical assistant so on fridays i could get off at noon because i worked in in specialty because some specialty offices close at noon so yeah, I got off at noon and I could go and freaking go get my nails done and have some me time. Like, can't do that when you're a military wife and you don't have any help. Granted, some people, I mean, they bring the, their parents, um, can move with them. But those of you who have parents that are still working, like both of my parents are still pretty young and still working. Like, they are not retired. Yeah. They still living their best life out here. Do you think they want me watching the grandkids? They do not. They don't at all. So yeah, it's a struggle because I have to constantly change my schedule. Especially if you, your husband has to go to PT in the morning. That means they got to get up like at 5 in the morning. Go to PT and then 
come home and then go to work granted my husband is in training right now that his schedule changes all the time because he's in training and it's just really crazy like he's about to get off right now but i'm gonna ask him if he'll go get the kids because then i can get off at five and we can see how that go <sighs> but yeah that's my little army wife rant just imagine like not knowing where you're gonna move to like at the drop of dawn like we didn't know that we were gonna move here <laughs> and then we we're like yeah we're moving we didn't have any orders to move and i literally we literally had to find this place in a week like what you know how hard it is to find a place right now it's so hard so we should find an, out in october where we're moving to and i don't think i'm gonna tell y'all where we're moving when i find out i don't think i'm gonna tell y'all i think i'm just gonna surprise y'all like i might tell y'all the day and be like y'all we found out where we're moving to and then we'll do like a moving vlog move with me you know do something some type of content so then y'all see where i'll be moving to then we can make like, like this whole ordeal and you can just find out in the vlog i hope it's somewhere close to the family because i don't want to be this is only two hours and 30 minutes from the fam like i like i told you i have decided that wherever we move to i am just gonna make the best of that's all I can do because if not I'll have a mental breakdown and then I'll be crying because I don't like the place I'm staying but with the military you just gotta make the best of it but this is my second duty station and this is what I will say because I didn't notice a trend I am not living next to the base because I'm starting to see this trend that they put the the bases in the middle of the hood like the base is literally down the street I told y'all the surroundings last base we didn't stay at the base we stayed 30 minutes away from the base we didn't stay around the base but if you was around that base don't get caught with a flat tire <laughs> you was gonna get got first off about lost my life coming up them steps but guess what my husband just texted me he told me he got out of class earlier guess who don't gotta go get these kids like what am i gonna do i'm at home by myself it's quiet do you hear that I don't hear nothing. I haven't had like a break to be by myself and decompress in <laughs> since I started work. All right, y'all, I'm just about to really relax. I need it. I really needed this. Like I don't have to be running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I don't have to do none of that. This is this is what luxury is about. This is luxury. Like everybody thinks luxury is just buying stuff all the time like buying luxury items and spending a lot of money sometimes a luxury is peace and quiet pray for the streets, pray for the streets. CMG. CMG. i heard you good with them soft lips yeah you know word of mouth the square root of 69 is a something right because i've been trying to work it out uh go white wine uh i come alive in the nighttime yeah okay away we go only thing we have on is the radio oh, let it play say you gotta leave but this is my puff you my puff you this is rollo say hi <laughs> Okay. Rallo. Stop it. He wanna play. What's up you guys? Happy Saturday. It's hot. So I'm gonna talk real quick. First off, let's get this situated. I finally got me a car mount. We're gonna see how good this works we are in charlotte peep the gear no i'm not a carolina panthers fan i mean i kind of am because i'm from north carolina but you know i grew up a falcons fan but you know my man likes the panthers i think i told y'all we we're going to the panthers preseason game today because my husband's 
cousin plays for the Jets and they're playing the Jets, but the Panthers is my husband's team. It is hot down here per use. I'm already down here because my sister lives down here. It's 12 18, but I, your girl gotta go to Walmart because I got this jersey on. <laughs> Listen. I gotta go to Walmart and get me a different Panther shirt because I got this jersey on and it's hot. It's way too hot. Hi! I didn't know you was down here. It's Cam Newton. It's old. That was my sister's boyfriend, aka my brother-in-law. But yeah, so I'm about to go to Walmart and get a different Panther shirt because baby, <laughs> It's hot and I'm not about to be sweating like a whore in church up here because I just want to know why the Panthers Stadium and don't have like a, do a dome why y'all don't have a dome like the Falcons do because we dang sure got inside and outside Y'all need to catch up so I gotta find a Walmart. I'm gonna get my husband a white tea. Uh, no not the Walmart in Augusta boo Walmart in Charlotte Not Walgreens Wow, Mart near me says it's 10 minutes away, but you know what is going on with my phone? You know, we in Charlotte, baby, it's traffic. I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta crank up the, the air. Starting route to Walmart Super. Why does my phone keep just turning off? Starting route to Walmart Super. I don't like this. Let me turn my phone off and turn it back on. If y'all can't hear me, I'm sorry, y'all. It's hot down here. I'm but oh, let me just turn this down. I did not bring my mom hat. <laughs> but guess what? I'm about to go to Walmart and buy me one of them $5 hats, babes. Cause I dang sure am. Because it's hot down here. Like, I mean, it'd be hot in Georgia, but it's hot. And they're gonna be in the sun. I didn't already put sunscreen on the kids. And me, I done brought the sunscreen with me. I'm not about to be hot. I can't even take my little cup in there. I gotta get up out of this jersey. I'm gonna have to show y'all what I got on. I better be able to find a shirt. You know, like if you live in a certain area, you're able to find like your certain team's attire. So I should be able to find what I need to be, like what I need to wear is what I'm trying to say. Now y'all, if I can't find this Walmart. Starting route okay. to Walmart Supercenter. Here we go. I need to bust the Yui. It's a police right here too. So I don't think I can bust the U-turn. Is it's illegal? Eh? I think I'm gonna have to go all the way down and turn. Say so I'm just I'm just gonna act right because you know what? I do have a North Carolina license because I am from North Carolina. But I'm just go straight and do right. I'm not gonna bust nobody's U-turn. Reroute me, please. Can you do me a, a favor? Yeah. Can you grab some ibuprofen? I'll send you some bread for it. Yeah, you ain't gotta send me no money. Okay, thank you, I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. All right, bye. Oh, no turn on red. Let me uh, let me just stop right here. It's only 12.23 in the after. Doesn't start till four. We want to go to Take a sharp the left mall. turn to merge onto I-277 South. But I don't know if we're going to the mall or not. Where the H&M is, but I don't really feel like going all the way to the South Lake Mall. It's still like 21 minutes from here. If I could pick anywhere to move to, it would probably be Charlotte. I used to live in Charlotte, but more of the Concord Mills area. I like I like Concord because it's like the suburbs. But Charlotte, I love Charlotte. I love North Carolina, period. I wish it was an army base here. It's probably gonna be a montage for the game because I can't take my camera in there. Y'all, I can't even take a little purse. I was not about to spend $50 for an NFL purse. Like they only allow certain purses up in there. So I'm not gonna be spending $50 for no NFL purse. Her. I do go to NFL games. I'm not buying no purse. My lips are chapped as heck. So let's see if I can find a shirt in Walmart. I get so much anxiety driving in big city. I don't know why. Gianni is a little sick. He has a cold, a little cough, just like a summer cold. He did stay out of school on Friday for it. No fever or nothing. Just a little cough and a runny nose. I heard COVID cases, oh, that's a pretty little town home. I heard COVID cases are going up. Like, like, how do I send my kid to school and he's never sick? He finally goes to school and then he gets sick. Like, what? 
But people have been saying that their kids have been getting sick. Uh, why make it make sense? I had to write his teacher and be like, yeah, Gianni's not coming to school today because he has a runny nose. And she was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. A couple of them do. Like, why, what? We ain't even been in school for a week. But then I was telling my husband that I remember when Gianni used to be in daycare. He used to be sick all the time. Like, he used to cough all the time and have a runny nose. And I used to, it took me a while to remember that it used to be like Go that. Go past this light. Then at the next one, take a sharp left turn. Only because for th the past three years, he's been staying at home with me. But let's go see what we find in Wally World. It's me missing the exit I was supposed to turn on. <laughs> like what? I missed the exit I was supposed to be turning on. How does that happen? Let's do this again. We're not going to miss this turn this time. Lip check. Okay. This light turned too fast. Now let's get back on the Use highway. The left Y'all ain't going to bully me on this highway. Oh, oh, I need to go all the way up 3.6 miles. Turn right. Oh my gosh, y'all. I almost missed the exit <laughs> again. Oh my gosh. This is why I don't drive in the city. Y'all should see me drive in Atlanta. That's 10 times worse. I have never, I don't think I have. Yeah. I've never turned on my vlogging camera when I have been driving through Atlanta because I cry. I've cried so many times. Let me just go ahead and get over in the slow lane because you know I don't even be in a fast lane. I ain't about to play with people like that. But I have, mm -mm. I cry when I drive in Atlanta. That's why I do not drive in Atlanta. Mm -mm. I think sometimes I feel like I'm the only influencer that does not want to live in Atlanta. Like I feel like a lot of influencers feel like they have to move to Atlanta to be able to have like opportunities and stuff like that. Not me, boo. I sure don't. Babes, don't you bring your butt over here and hit me. I don't feel like I gotta live in Atlanta. I don't. Like I don't like places with a lot of traffic. And granted, everywhere is getting a lot of, like there's a lot of traffic everywhere you go, but I just I don't want to live in Atlanta. I do not. If I could live in any city, like I, I said, like I would live in Charlotte, but it would be on the outskirts. Like even back home in Asheville, it's getting a little too crowded. Like y'all need to go back where y'all came from. Everywhere is just overly crowded right now. Am I supposed to get off right here? Why is it saying the Super Walmart is like right off of the highway, but it's not telling me to get off of the highway? Talk to me while I try to get to Walmart in Charlotte. And y'all can see Stay in the left three lanes. that I don't know how to drive. The crazy part is, is when I used to be doing music and stuff, I used to have so many shows down here. And I believe they were on the street. I mean, I know I've been to the Bojangles Coliseum, but I don't ever remember a Walmart being on this road. Ever. And it's a super center. This must be new. That used to be a club right there. I performed there one time. Whatever club used to be right off of this highway. I don't even know what the name of this dang highway is, but let me get over. But yeah, let's go into Walmart, y'all. I done talk y'all heads off. What was I thinking? I got me a little hat. Hey, you know my head big. And I was in there, I was like, this is not gonna fit. Anywho, I got me. A gray Carolina Panther shirt and I got it enlarged because you know stuff be shrinking nowadays ever since the pandemic stuff don't be of high quality oh my gosh this feels so much better I think I'm gonna switch into my biker shorts because I have jean shorts on right now and I just really want to be comfortable because who knows how far we have to walk Hat gonna fit on my head. That looked childish. I have to brown this out a little bit. Okay, y'all, I feel so much better. Now I'm game ready. 
this just feels way better. I think I might roll these sleeves up a little bit. Like little cuffs. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna do it right now. I gotta figure out how to get back to my sister's house. She's going to a baby shower and then she'll meet us at the game. Turn my head because it smells so bad. Are you 